Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, we're not doing an Everyday Kitchen episode today. What we're going to do today is actually a taste test of one of the sauces that I got from Marie Sharps in Canada. They sent me a whole box of their wonderful sauces, and today I'm going to try Marie Sharps Exotic Sauce whatever this word is probably Spanish of some sort probably exotic I don't know what that says uh, this is actually the first of the sauces that I'm gonna try out of the box that they sent me having said that I have bought uh, two of their sauces before in the store uh, but this is the first sauce I'm trying that they sent me and I've never tried this one um, it says it's good um, for basting, grilling, cooking, or as a condiment with meat, meats, porks, all that kind of stuff, vegetables, whatever. So what I'm going to do is uh, just use it specifically on my food that I've got that I'm going to be serving up. And as always, we have to do the shake. Always got to shake these things up. You want to get everything mixed up in there real good haven't even opened it can't wait to try it let's go over here and look at the meat that we're going to be putting it on Oof. there we go we got ourselves some pork loin. I'm going to taste a piece of that before I even do anything. What might blow your mind is a lot of the juices in that pan are from the tenderloin, but a lot of it is bacon grease. I made some bacon on the sheet yesterday. I thought, well, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave the grease in the pan because I might use it for something. You never know. So what do you know? Cook the old tenderloin in it. I bet it's going to be good. This is with no sauces, no nothing. So let's just give my little tenderloin a taste. Kind of juicy, good. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, this ain't about. This ain't just about my tenderloin. It's about that sauce. Let's cut the video, load the plate up with some food, go to the desk, the eating area. Let's do a taste test on that sauce. All right. We are at the eating compound slash my desk. Get one good look at my plate here. Oh. 
Oh man. It's gonna be good. The meat's amazing. Very simple meat. It is a pork loin. I did a quick unthaw in the sink with hot water. Only thing I put on it was you seen that I, I cooked it in the bacon grease, which I never do because we never have real bacon. But cooked in the bacon grease, salt and pepper, and Italian seasoning on both sides, and that's it. Covered it up with a smaller pan and stuck it in the oven at 375 for most of the time, and then like 275 or 250 for the rest of the time. Very simple, nothing crazy. I didn't need my knife. Alright, just opened her up. Let's try this. Let's do the sniff. Mmm. Almost smells like a barbecue sauce. There's a sweetness, there's a sweet aroma to it. Mm. I'm inclined to just take a bit on here and yeah that's almost like a barbecue-ish kind of sauce hmm let's get some on the plate or on a bite or on something Here. there's a very sweet aroma very barbecue-ish reminiscent let me get a bite of my macaroni and cheese first that macaroni and cheese in forever all right let's try this nice big piece of pork loin with that sauce on it I think I need more information. Little bit more information. Now, there is um, habanero in here, but I'm not tasting any heat at all. That's not because I have some high tolerance to heat. I just don't, I don't, I'm not really feeling any habanero aspects here which is probably okay for most people right this yeah this tastes a lot like a, a uh, like a barbecue sauce and some chicken some wings or something maybe of course I like I like my wings to be spicy. I like some spicy wings. It's not bad. I can't read all the writing. 
writing's really small and I guess my eyes are going bad. I don't know. But now I'm not paid by Marie Sharps to review any of their products. They sent me these uh, because they seen I was interested, which I appreciate immensely. Really. If I had to rate this on a scale of say one to five, um, I'm not big on barbecue sauce. Uh, so um, so this re this review on this might not be very fair. It tastes good. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just I've just never been a fan of like barbecue sauces. I don't like barbecue potato chips, nothing like that. I can handle some barbecue chicken if it's like really got that charred and burnt on kind of barbecue taste. If I had to rate this on my scale of what I like, one to five, I would give this for me probably a two and a half. A two and a half out of five. That's me though. Uh, you might try it and be like, hey, that's a five. You're crazy. Again, I'm not crazy about barbecueish flavor. Doesn't taste bad. But it's interesting. If you're interested in it, there you go. Not bad, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little taste test review. I have a lot more to go with those. Uh, I've got about 15, 16 bottles of hot, of sauces, not just hot sauce, but sauces to try. So that was just one and many. I want to thank Marie Sharps of Canada once again for sending me that amazing gift. Appreciate it more than you know. And we got lots of videos to go. There is uh, Marie Sharps in USA. You can look them up as well. And uh, they both have all kind of products and things that I think a lot of people would enjoy. And it's not all just hot stuff, as I can attest right there. There's other things. So, alright, I'm looking forward to all the other sauces. Guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And enjoy the heck out of your meal while doing it. We'll see y'all later. I'm going to enjoy this meal. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!